So we're going to have a look at deconstructing this question from the 2022 SATS test for year six in England. How can we get children seeing the deep structure of this question? First of all, in making this video, I've just recreated that exact same question, but I've just made it so it can be edited. Then I've removed a lot of the information. So I've just given that initial rectangle and I ask, what are the coordinates of point P? That's the question. And at this point, we're saying, well, what could they be? Give me a realistic estimate. Having generated those realistic estimates, I'm going to add some more information in. The length of the rectangle is three times its width. Now, would you edit that estimate at all? Now we've got this kind of benchmark to work from. I'm going to introduce almost all the information. All the information apart from the actual coordinate on the second rectangle for children to process. And we can look, well, what will I need to do to calculate the Y coordinate? How will I do that when I'm given that information? What about to calculate the X coordinate? What will I do then? And then we think about the deep structure before we get to the answer. And finally, I'll give all the information that's required, go back to the original question to be able to answer the question itself. I'm working on deconstructing worded questions initially for year six. I can't wait. There's going to be so many examples. They won't be based on the SATS questions themselves, but they're going to really support children to be able to break down multi-step maths questions.